Hello, I'm Dr. Johnson Steigelman again. I want to talk to you today about uh, this week's lab. Um, it's Newton's second law, and what we're going to do is look to see what happens as we pull this cart with different forces. Now, during that time, we're going to measure the acceleration, and if you remember, Newton's second law says that the force is proportional to the acceleration, and also, it's uh, indirectly proportional or inversely proportional to the mass. So we've got a set of masses here. We're going to measure their position like we've done before using the Sonic Ranger. We're going to let this thing accelerate. We're going to fit that, excel that position versus time curve from the Sonic Ranger. That will give us the acceleration and eventually it will stop accelerating. So in your data, you are going to see a time when it's standing still, a time when it's accelerating, and then once it hits over here, it's not going to be moving anymore. You might be able to see evidence of the collision uh, in your data, but we're really interested in this part where it's freely accelerating. Now that acceleration is occurring because way over here, we have a hanging mass. If you look carefully, you can see it there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take masses from here and put them over there. So we're going to start out with a 100 uh, gram mass causing the acceleration. And then we're going to change it to a 200, put the 100 back on here, and then go to 300. So we'll put a 100 and a 200 over there then we'll put two, two, two hundreds, uh, and so on, until we get up to a total of 500 grams driving mass over there. Okay? So, just to give you a clue of what this looks like, we've got the mass hanging over there. I'm going to start the data collection here in Logger Pro. And we're all set to go. Almost set to go. There it goes. Okay, now, the big thing to realize with this particular lab, as I said, the total mass that's being accelerated is constant. It's the mass of the cart itself. I've got one of these extra masses on it, and I've got 500 total in these hanging masses. That total amount, which is around 600 grams, that stays the same the whole time. The thing that changes is, first we only have 100, then we have 200, over there. Notice I put the 100 back on, and then I take put 300 over there. But these guys are accelerating because they're being pulled down. The total overall is going to give us hopefully a very nice straight line that is evidence of Newton's second law. Now the slope of that line is going to have some information hidden in it, and you'll want to look to see what the slope of the graph looks like. Think about what its units are. Maybe do some minor, minor uh, mathematical manipulation with it and figure out how that compares to the mass that we have overall for the system. Okay, good luck, and I look forward to reading your lab reports.